Hey there, Libra. My name is Trudy. I'm your poor two gypsy angel medium. I'm sorry. I've been MIA since I moved to this apartment. I haven't been shooting videos. So this is the Round Mother Peace Tarot. This is your October 2022 reading. Let's get right into it. Also, I want you to think about a yes or no question. I'm going to go through this fast. It's going to be a quickie gonna be a quickie my time has become very very like uh limited and okay we have some jumping cards i'm just gonna finish this shuffle and cut the deck okay so i'm gonna start off with the two cards that jumped out hmm okay so uh, the first thing that's jumping out is, at me is that you're in a community and people are looking to you. People are looking up to you. People are looking to you for advice. People are looking to you for um, your consistency. You are considered to be very reliable. And so people are looking to you for direction, guidance, counsel. All of the above okay um the point is people are looking up to you and then we got the emperor so you are on your boss mode if you're a lady you're still a boss babe okay um i love this for you libra this is incredible this is you know you leveling up so maybe and my nose is itching. Maybe at work you're going to get a pay raise. Maybe um, you get a new job offer. Maybe your own business, your entrepreneur business takes off. Um, so let's start pulling cards from the top. I'm going to pull three, four things that Libra needs to know that maybe you don't know in the coming weeks. And then I'm going to cut the deck again. For the outcome or the lesson that you're standing on all right also by the way I'm hanging out here with uh, raw clear quartz and a little tiny chunk of rose quartz so sending you those awesome vibes and so the the things that you don't know about, that you need to know about. There's a whole community of people that want to work with you. Of course, there are those who don't want to work with you. There's those who want to work against you. But don't be so quick to judge and dismiss the ones who actually legitimately do want to work with you. Um, because that kind of people, you don't want to dismiss them. They don't come around all the time. So use your better judgment, use your discernment, don't turn everybody away. There's some people who are actually wholehearted and they do want to help you out and they are Team Libra. Um, and then we got the Seven of Cups here. We got two sevens in this reading. I only pulled out six cards and you got two sevens here. So that's pretty incredible. Uh, and my nose is itching again. Archangel Michael wants to make his presence known. He's saluting you and inviting you to call on him for help, guidance, and protection. Um, but Libra, the Seven of Cups here is talking about you doing and creating everything from a place of love, um, from a place of authenticity, like true, genuine, authentic self. And it's just creation of love it's creation from the heart chakra space the heart chakra unites with the crown chakra and you are being divinely guided from the cosmic realm into all of your actions and your spoken words this is really powerful time for you um speak from your heart space don't speak out of anger ah okay also, we're leaving Mercury retrograde, so we're going to have a shadow phase for a couple of weeks, but then we're going to go into Mercury direct. So it's a great time to sign contracts. It's a great time to start business or construction 
or go into something new or take a trip and go somewhere. Um, and I do see that for some Libras, you are going places, maybe taking a plane, maybe going on a road trip or a boat. I don't see train, okay? Um, I also see communication coming in for you. Maybe something romantic. I see communication coming in. Like uh, the clouds are clearing and it's okay now. It's not turbulent anymore and it's okay to communicate with you. Maybe you had built up a wall and the person trying to reach out has struggled to reach out to you because I am seeing the parting of the, of the cloud, the gray cloud, so to speak. Here is the rainbow I've been praying for. Yeah, that person feels like that. They want to talk to you, but they didn't know how to approach the situation. So they're like, hmm. They don't, they're, they're creeping and crawling, as they would say in uh, the Caribbean countries, all right? So <clears throat> then we have here, this is the lesson that you're standing on, my love. This is the lesson of the cycle, the lunar cycle, or the month. Um, you know, it's a six of wands. And this, this is an energy of being on top of the horse. This is an energy of having control over things, having mastered the multitasking, having uh, reached a certain level of achievement, effort, and self-motivation. And this is also not letting up. Even though you have reached this level, you're not going to blah, 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 fall back down. You're going to maintain, okay? And you're going to move from here on up. Okay, it's not gonna it's not gonna decrease, it's going to increase and augment. All right, and this is just the beginning, baby. So I'm excited about next month. Now remember, I did ask you to ask a question because I brought out my pendulum. So I really want you to focus on the question now. Like the pendulum's ready to answer. Okay, take a deep breath with me, close your eyes for just a moment. When we exhale, we're gonna exhale with a Ha, okay. The answer is yes. That is a circle. The answer is yes. All right, my loves, I hope that you enjoyed it. If you haven't already, click subscribe. You definitely want to do that. Hit the notification bell. Leave me a comment. I love you so much. Love me back. Love yourself. Love everybody around you. Yeah, and if you want your own private reading, you got to click on the description box. It's a downward-facing triangle. I love you.